What is the proven way to get clients as a freelance Flutter developer or actually any kind of a developer at all? And how do you actually make clients come to you and not you trying to search for them? Hello, welcome to Reso Coder, where you are getting prepared for real app development by building better, faster, more stable apps. So subscribe and hit the bell if you want to grow your coding skills. The answer to that question, which I proposed at the beginning, is very simple. You just have to produce content. By producing content, you are going to be able to attract clients and not have to search for them meticulously without any kind of results. But what do I mean by content? Well, of course, the stuff that I am doing even right now is such sort of a content because I get at least two clients a week try to contact me or try to start working with me. Of course, I cannot <laughs> work with everybody, but really after some point as my content production accumulated, now I have over 100 and something videos, I don't really know, but content like this and also tutorials really helps you to get clients. But of course, you do not necessarily have to create tutorials and vlogs and all of that. What you can also do is to be really prolific at GitHub or just do some open source contributions to projects which have something to do with your field of expertise or with the field in which you want to get. Because no matter what you do, as soon as you start producing content, you are putting yourself out there and you have your portfolio on display for everybody to see. And what are people who are looking for a competent developer going to do? Are they going to go to some HR company and I find me some competent developers? No, maybe, maybe they will, but the HR company, what are they going to do? Recruiters are going to also look through some content which is readily available on GitHub or on YouTube or on your own website. Because think about it, if they can see that you are competent before even contacting you, why should they contact someone who doesn't have any sort of a content out there? Well, it's a no-brainer. They are going to, as everybody, they are lazy and they do not necessarily want to contact a bunch of people out of which uh, 9 out of 10 of those people are going to be completely uh, not good developers. So if they can pre-filter developers by their online content, it seems like a good choice to make on their side because they're going to spare a lot of time. Of course, you need to know your stuff and you need to be absolutely professional in communication with your prospective clients because that's also what counts. You need to know how to reply to emails. You need to know how to be on time. You need to know actually your development skills because it's one thing to code something up and put it on GitHub or create tutorials, but it's the, uh, completely another thing to build production grade apps and not just some portfolio projects. Of course, if you have some uh, amazing uh, high level or low level, should I say, library, on GitHub for Flutter, for example, some Flutter packages, or if you have Android libraries you are contributing to, well, then it's a different story. You are probably uh, going to be able to complete even some more advanced projects. But if your portfolio consists of some simpler projects, which are not really production grade, of course, it's still going to help you in getting that job, in getting that freelance client, in getting that recruitment contact uh, or recruiter contacting you. But what it's not going to necessarily help with is your level of competency. So you need to make sure that even though your projects which are out there are not completely production grade, your skills have to be production grade. So the bottom line is whether you are producing content as tutorials or you are pushing your comments on GitHub on some awesome repositories or doing whatever you are doing, you just have to be prolific because as soon as you are prolific, people are going to start noticing and they are going to start contacting you out of the blue, really, because I am not really advertising my services and I still get 
few clients really every single week someone is contacting me and I can really pick and choose the best ones who I really believe in and I believe in the mission that they want to accomplish in this world and I want to help them so I really do not have some sort of a lack of choice when it comes to clients and I'm really not even necessarily advertising my services maybe now I'm advertising my services but if you check out my tutorials nowhere in there I say something about I can build an app for you or I can help you personally with your development struggles as you are if you are a Flutter developer of course and still I get contacted by a bunch of people every week so really that's what you should do be prolific produce content push those comments on GitHub, push those comments on GitLab, Bitbucket, whatever you are doing, probably on GitHub because that's the hub for Git, <laughs> if you get that. Oh man, I have to stop with these jokes. So anyway, that's it for this video. If it helped you, give it a like. If you are not already aware about the Flutter conference, which is going to be taking place in Warsaw, Poland, this January or the next January 2020, it's going to be packed with awesome people. There are gonna be people from Google. Brian Egan should be there. That's the guy who made RX Dart, for example. I will be there. So if you wanna meet up, go over to Warsaw. So it's called Flutter Europe. It's a conference taking place in January. And if you wanna learn more about this awesome conference, which is going to be a two day conference, check out the link from the video description or also you can go to flutter-europe.dev. If you wanna get more vlogs and tutorials like this one, subscribe to this channel and also join the notification squad by hitting the bell button to make sure you grow your coding skills because here on Reso Coder, I'm really determined to provide you with the best app development tutorials and also resources like this out there. If you really wanna grow your Flutter skills, go over to flutter.education. That's an actual domain that I snatched so if you go to flutter.education, over there you will find a curated list of Flutter news and resources. I really try to pick the best ones. And also you can subscribe to my mailing list over there if you want to get those news and resources delivered weekly to your mail inbox. Leave a comment if you have anything to say and I'll see you in the next video.